know, guys. Alright. Let's talk to me. Ah, finally, there you are. Been waiting to hear from you. Give me your report in the detail. I understand. Of course, we, not, we cannot take the dog away from the, that woman. But you have to keep trying to convince her to come to Lakeview. Maybe she'll change her mind. You have to get closer to her and her dog. Meet them every day. Talk to her. Do her little favor and get to know this dog. This pouch or whatever you call him. A dog still alive is completely unexpected and so promising. And all he knows is really impressive. Search for edible goods. Escort. You have to convince her, okay? do that though but fine let's go back to the in sacramento then a new weapon. Oh, that be good. It's poor quality. I don't want poor quality. It'll probably just break after one use or something. I'm sorry if I don't rush to welcome you too. My stomach hurts like hell. Freaking cold. I, I caught cold hiding here all day like a dead weight. No, no, no. I'm not going to like you. Stop with that. But if something happens to me, the dog could use the company. I've been taking care of him since the first day of the apocalypse. I was running out of downtown, sulking around as usual. He was running down with infected behind him. He was barking, drawing attention from all the neighborhood. I hit him. He realized he had to shut up to survive. He's smart, that's for sure. Well, instead of wasting your time trying to drag me to Lakeview, couldn't you make my nights more pleasant? I remember a woman who lived in the village of Bodega Bay. She gave me one of her old blankets. It smelled like lavender. You want me to go? I'm gonna fetch a blanket. Okay. the house for a blanket. This house? Or a specific house? No. What? I'm right here. Jeez. Jeez, that's good. I don't 
didn't know what was going on. Alright, now we have to go run back. Okay. Let's run on back. I got your stupid blanket. Same smell than I remember. A good night's sleep, that's all I ask. You'll look after the dog if, I mean, you know. You won't regret it. He's resourceful. I think he must have known, must have known cops or firemen unless he was helping a cripple. I don't know. Ugh, my fucking belly hurts. These pants is too tight. Those bruises on my stomach? Uh, don't worry. It's just a remnant of the day we met. Nothing to worry about. And stop trying to make me take me back to Lakeview every time we talk. I'm not going in there. That's it. No way I'm seeing this Lynn. I only believe what's in the book. Doctors tell me what they want to hear. Want you to hear. Promise me, don't mention again Lakeview or the people there. Or don't come back. Well, you better keep your word. I want to sleep now. Let me sleep. Go to the Sacramento. Public library. Oh, it's down here. God damn it. Okay. Let's go to the library then. avoid the zombies as much as I can. Okay, is this a library? Yep. Oh. Okay, what a search for a medical book to diagnose Lizzie. Nope, 
nothing useful. Must be it. It better be. Okay, on the shelf lies the medical book. According to it, so these symptoms indicate an internal bleeding. Yeah, I kind of figured. It is advised to ask for assistance from a doctor. Now we're gonna have to go to the brain situation too. So this <laughs> Okay, so I have to go to Lakeview? Yeah. Uh, hopefully I can get there. Without the compass, because it's not showing me the compass anymore. Like every other time. Oh. Uh, wait. Oh no. Did I get lost again? Yes, it's this way. Okay, good. Cause this is um where uh, Sylvie is. I have to go talk to Lynn. All right. Let's go back. Okay. Showing me the compass. Oh wait, it's the other building. Cause she is the um the doctor. Hi, it's been a long time. What brings you to Lakeview on this beautiful day? Wow, that's scary. In my opinion, she has a broken rib or worse, internal bleeding. I would have to visit this patient if I want to confirm. That's not good, not good at all. I have to go. Really? No, no, I can't leave a patient alone. Well, if you made a promise. To relieve her at least, you could search for anti-hemorrhagics? What? I would like to do more, but my stocks are empty, and the scavengers won't be able to supply me until tomorrow. By then, it might be too late for Sylvie. I can't go and I can't give you anything. I feel so bad. But I can give you the coordinate, coordinates of two pharmacies where you might be able to find what you need if you can go by your own. Well, good luck. Above all, be careful. Just keep me posted. Alright, so I have to go and um, get the other one. Chucky! What the heck? I'm grabbing that. <laughs> That's too funny to freaking leave behind. Okay.